culture and dependence on uh, student-based organisations for funding and a move out into the community. It's like Triple Z leaving home. The university was like mum and it looked after Triple Z, but as Triple Z got older, we found that we were having more and more fallouts, sort of a generation gap there between the University of Queensland Students' Union and ourselves. In 1987, the National Party uh, president of the University of Queensland Students' Union, Ms. Victoria Brazil. Uh, had a um, had a, a raid at 17 minutes past four in the morning. Um, it was the 14th of December 1988, and uh, we we subsequently had to uh, re-seize the station. We had to storm the station and take it um, back from the security guards and the National Party. And uh, because of that conflict, uh, the the Triple Z decided to move out of. Um, its premises that were then at the University of Queensland. We moved to temporary premises at Toulon, and now we're here at our own building. We're buying the building at 291 St Paul's Terrace. It's Gay here with the whole happy plan tonight. And and as usual, all wandering in off the streets as they want to do. Little lesbians, nothing better to do. Oh, we should really get a laugh. So we might go with the music. This is to get you in the room. As far as the mainstream is concerned, I don't think most, I don't think most of the mainstream community know Triple Z exists probably. Yeah. Can you tell the camera what you know about Triple Z? Triple Z? Oh, yeah. Not much? Oh, uh, not a lot. <laughs> uh, about a few um, radio. That's about it. Nothing. Sorry. I don't know anything about Triple Z. But, uh, the thing is that we're not catering for the mainstream community. We'd like to change mainstream community's attitudes. Uh, however, you know, we're supporting a community which has certainly needs support because they're not uh, catered for by any other media outlet. <laughs> To its listening audience, of course, it's the voice of youth, the voice of, um, of a bit of rebellion, a bit of left field political agitation, and um, mainly rock and roll, sort of the sex, drugs, and rock and roll antichrist sort of thing is what we put across. I don't want to get stoned, but I don't want to not get stoned. I don't want to not get stoned. Don't want to get high. I don't want to get high. Oh, at least Triple Z, there's a lot of freedom. Like, if you've got the energy and the ideas to do projects, you can just go and do, it, do them. Mm -hmm. Everything's here and you just do it. Yeah. It's, it's just your energy, really. What are your views on censorship within the public radio system? Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think it should be fucking more banned, is what I think. But, you know. It seems ridiculous and, and two-faced to go around. Deleting words or warning people about words that are in common use anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Most radio stations, 10% or I think, or 8% of people actually, are actually listening at any one time, and Triple Z it's 35%. So most of our listeners are really thinking about what they're hearing, and they're, you know, they're listening to it. They might criticise, they might not agree, they might agree, but they're listening. They're, they're a lot more engaged. I think I'd, I'd, I'd kind of like to think we've got a more intelligent audience. Really. <laughs> I think the majority of a listening audience uh, has a young attitude, at least. Um, not so much a cynical attitude, I think. Um, I think more of a, um, a sense of humour about life in the city. Um, probably a lot of drug takers in this country. Like a lot of drug takers. Um, a lot of drug takers that take drugs to make music to take drugs to. There isn't one audience. You can't say an audience for Triple Z. I mean, even though I know I was talking about that before, but um, there are audiences. It's yeah. a very diverse audience. So it, there's a lot of specialist audiences. Like we get people who tune into the movie show who probably wouldn't tune into other things, and um, there's people tuning into the art show who wouldn't tune. People tune into the metal show who wouldn't listen to anything. You know, like the, there's all these different audiences. But people that have never listened to the station still know it's Triple Z, and it's just this real weird really weird music station that plays really weird stuff and that's really good, we're quite proud of that. Um. The next song I'm queuing up, I have no idea whatsoever what it sounds like but it'll sound like a song anyway, that much I'm sure of. <laughs> I'm not going to try my bottom again. <laughs> <laughs> 